Is this new asymmetrical horror game better than Dead by Daylight? Let's find out in this video. Attention, critical overload. Yo guys, what's up and I hope you're all doing great. Today I want to show you this new asymmetrical horror game. I just found out about this game and it looks absolutely insane. And this could be a huge success in the horror gaming scene. So this game is called Level Zero. This game has been pretty much under the radar because I don't see anyone talk about it. And now let's get into the details of what this game is about. But first smash that like button and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe as well. I'd really appreciate that. Alright, Level Zero is an asymmetrical survival horror PvP game where a team of scientists must repair the electrical system to escape. And this could be the child of Dead by Daylight and Alien Isolation. So this is basically a science expedition in space that has completely gone wrong. You are either playing one of the four scientists or one of the two alien monsters. So as the scientists, your goal is to restart the electrical system by repairing and restarting the fuse boxes scattered around the map. And finally, your end goal is going to be to activate the mainframe and this will trigger the end game. There's gonna be like a huge blackout, you won't see anything and it only takes one scientist to survive to win the match. Also the map is absolutely huge. So most of the time you're trying to hide and run away from the alien monsters. You can't really fight back with weapons, you only have light, so light is your weapon. The monsters are really sensitive to light sources, but you don't really have a lot of resources, so you really have to use the light sparingly. You can use a UV light, a torch or a flare, which will really damage the monsters and eventually even kill them. And when the scientist gets killed, you can possibly revive them. But if they die completely, they will actually respawn as a drone. And with this drone, they can fly around the map and mark important objects for the teammates. And now let's talk about the monster side. The goal of the alien monsters is to eliminate all scientists or prevent them from activating the mainframe. The monsters also have different abilities like EMP to shut off the electricity, they can scream to drop off items, they also have this scan ability where they can find and scan humans, they can also crawl through the vents like in Alien Isolation and they really do look kind of similar to the aliens. They also have an energy meter system and in the beginning of the game as the monster you need to collect eggs to fill your energy meter to be able to use abilities. And once you die you will have a respawn time of 30 seconds which is pretty long because in that time the scientists can get a lot of work done. So in this game strategy and communication is essential. Upon release of the game we will get three different maps and we already saw one of the maps which is an like an abandoned space station. We have a lot of screenshots and concept arts that show the map interiors of the space station. Here you can also see a drone from a dead player. We can see the monster killing uh, killing one of the scientists there. Um, our guy holding a flashlight and he's terrified and the last guy is trying to open the door. The scientists will be able to find different tools to help them survive, like an unlock tool for doors, some kind of um, detector for the monsters and different tools and flashlights and light sources to defend themselves. And from all the gameplay and the trailers that I saw so far, this game looks really, really immersive and beautiful. It feels very scary and this game looks really, really frightening. There will also be dynamic events like blackouts or broken pipes that will spice up the gameplay. All right, after the match is finished, you will earn XP and with that XP and in-game currency, you can buy more perks and skins that you can swap around on your character, whatever fits your playstyle best. And they are gonna add a ton of new content, like new monster skins, for example, like this one. Um, they have a lot of new content coming, new cosmetics for the scientists, of course. Also, if you want, go check out the Discord and they will share work in progress pictures, what they're working on, and that's really cool to see. And then they also said that they have new perks and maps on the way, so there's gonna be a lot of content hopefully on release of the game. And in my opinion, this game has a huge potential to be a really, really big hit in the asymmetrical horror multiplayer scene. The game was originally set to release in the year 2023, but at the end of the last year, they gave us an update and decided to push the release of the game to 2024. So I hope they will release the game very, very soon in a really good state. I also did sign up for the closed beta, which is hopefully coming soon as well. I'm gonna link you the website of the game down in the description so you guys can check out the game so we can get more players into the game and ready for the release and i also want to hear your guys opinion so let me know down in the comments below do you like this game or not and do you think this game has a future because i think this game is going to be a lot of fun and now let's take a look and compare this game to dead by daylight and does it have the potential for a really good asymmetrical horror game experience so level zero is going to be a four versus two game 
which is a step up from the Dead by Daylight formula 1 versus 4, so you will be able to play the killer or monster side with a friend, which is a big improvement over Dead by Daylight's one killer policy, because in my opinion it's really cool to have some teamwork on the killer side and to be able to hunt down the survivors, or in this case the scientists, together with a friend, which makes for great team play and also a great experience. And also, as we saw, the map is much, much bigger as the maps in Dead by Daylight. At least it seems like that. I mean, come on, this stuff looks like a freaking maze in there. And so it will be two monsters hunting you down. So we will have to see if it's a good balance to have two monsters in this huge space station to hunt down four scientists. So we will have to see in the future how this develops and how it plays out in the next closed beta that we will hopefully get very, very soon. And I can't wait to get my hands on this great game. Another similarity with Dead by Daylight is, of course, the flashlights, <laughs> or generally the light, because in Dead by Daylight uh, you can use the flashlight to really uh, blind the killer and really, really make their life miserable, but of course you can't kill them. In this game you can kill the monsters with a flashlight, they are really susceptible to light, just like the killers in Dead by Daylight. And then of course another big one is how the scientists versus the survivors escape from the map. So in Dead by Daylight you have your good old generators that the survivors have to repair in order to get out. And in this game it's kind of similar, because the scientists have to turn on and repair these fuse boxes, which kind of work as a generator, right? They just turn on the electricity, just like in Dead by Daylight. But in this game, there will be a lot more to do other than sit on the gen all day, you know what I'm saying? Because that shit gets old really fast. So you will have to find different items to repair these fuse boxes, and you will be in constant fear of getting your limbs turned off by some sort of alien monster. Surprise, motherfucker! And then let's take a look at Alien Isolation as well. So they got heavily inspired, obviously, by Dead by Daylight. And they also put some shovels of Alien Isolation on top to create this horror experience. And I don't know if you played Alien Isolation before, but in this game you really shit in your pants, man. Because you can get jump scared by the alien monster at any time. And it really scares the living sh out of you. If you're into horror games, I'd really recommend you try out that game. But remember, don't get a heart attack. So I really, really love this whole atmosphere of the game and it looks like a really really frightening and horrific experience and i can't say that for dead by daylight and this will make a lot of horror fans very happy so do you think this game is going to be better than dead by daylight i'm only speaking for myself right now but from what i have seen so far i would take this game over dead by daylight at any point without even thinking twice about it in my opinion this game really has the potential to be better than Dead by Daylight because the gameplay loop in level 0 sounds way more fun and immersive and also the game has way better graphics. Combined with the high focus on a horror game, this could be a recipe for success. Despite all the similarities to Dead by Daylight, it manages to take a big step forward into the horror franchise to give a unique spin on the genre and make itself stand out really nicely by all these new game elements, the beautiful graphics and art style, and I also like the emphasis on team play on both sides, the scientists and the monsters, so that you have to work as a team to finish the objective. And if you don't, you are doomed to fail. All right, so to sum up this showcase, I personally think this game has huge potential to becoming one of the biggest asymmetrical multiplayer horror games in the year 2024. But only if they release the game very, very polished and finished and not in a broken state. Because we, the customers, we don't want to play some broken ass game with tons of bugs and bad performance. And then they also need good marketing, so lots of players will hop onto the game so we can grow a big player base around this game. Hopefully they will have enough content planned out in the future to give us new maps, new skins, new characters and all that good stuff. And if they make all of these things right, it will be a huge success in my opinion. So as I already said, go check out the links in the description and sign yourselves up for the closed beta. I hope it will drop very soon and right now I'm really hyped up for this game and I can't wait to get my hands on it. I hope you enjoyed my showcase of this great looking game. Don't forget to smash that like button and if you don't want to miss any more news on level 0, killer clones from outer space and TCM, you should really subscribe to my channel right now. I'd really appreciate that. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.